Morning, Hetskins. Well, no, afternoon. Yeah, it's one forty-six UTC time. Um, yeah, just had my lunch. Had a, a few uh, lamb chops. Yeah, I pretty much have uh, red meat every day. My heart hasn't blown up yet. Hmm. Do your own research. Anyway, uh, yeah, this one's this video is just for Hetskins. Hetskins. Only and those curious about Hex. Uh, so I just opened up a laptop and saw we're dumping 12%. Okay. So we're coming back into this channel, right? Uh, I kind of changed my colors. I think this looks way better, right? And I've got this new little crosshair that just makes it easier to follow what I'm seeing. Yeah, always improving. You always got to improve. Anyway, um, Bitcoin's down two and a half grand, two two thousand three hundred forty. Uh, it's putting pressure on the market, right? Um, but is it really down? Not really. Not really. What well, was the high? Sixty four nine hundred, roughly, basically sixty five grand. It's just taking a little rest, digestion. Like after eating a lunch of red meat, which actually doesn't take any effort to digest. Yeah, look at that. Okay, um, 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 what are we doing here? Okay, yeah, this is the hit BTC one week, and I put hike and ash and the hike and ashy candle on. So it's basically just a a candle that's uh, manipulated to show trends. Uh, obviously, it's Japanese, hence the name hike and ashy. Tea, British, nice. Um, okay, high, low, slightly higher, high, higher, high. Um, this is consolidation, right? High, low, high, low, and this was the breakout week, March eighth. This way, we got explosion from uh, it was point oh zero zero eight four five roughly to. 23 0023 and um, that's a lot of movement in a f short few, few weeks so uh, an easing coming off is to be expected in a healthy market and also you know pre pulse chain so any any time when you got a, a change to or a slight confusion maybe uh, uh, about any new release, people like, eh, so I just, do I really want to be exposed to this? So yeah, profit taking, profit taking from here, um, potential sc uh, scares of a new economic system being developed, hey? Eh? Yeah, I'm going to talk about that uh, another, another time. Uh, if you saw my upload, was it yesterday? I gave my input on what uh to richard and uh i'm not really going to give any more inputs that was it uh but i'm going to do right up because i've got another idea regarding how pulse chain could actually play a broader role in the upcoming bear market mm. yeah got an interesting idea regarding that okay where are we at hex usd Point zero one six seven. It's pretty much the same as a uh, Uniswap. That's good to see. I guess is there any volume coming through? I don't know, but uh, you know, hex USD on hit hit BTC. That's trading directly against Bitcoin. So it's good to have that exchange available, right? Um, so long may they continue to list it, and you may actually see. Um, if people actually still trade on hit PTC, do they really still trade on that? Why would you? I don't know. No idea, but yeah. So you've got a direct uh, pair though, Bitcoin, Ethereum on, on that, right? On that exchange. And shall we just dig in deep, deeper, deeper and deeper? Okay, so now you're getting more granularity, huh? And um, so white trends are down, white trends are down, purple trends are up. We're in a white trend. 
And if you don't know how these candles work, um, I don't know entirely accurately, 100%, but essentially when his wicks appear on the candle, um, that's not a strong trend, right? Wicks up above, wicks up above, wicks up above. You, you kind of get what, what I'm seeing, what I'm explaining. But when there's a solid body candle here, that's an up move. That's a signal to go along right there. Would have been uh, pretty good to follow, right? So then directly after, next day, indecision again. So like spinning candle, essentially spinning tops or spinning... Um, also, his fingers are like called like a those uh, like in the Inception the movie that little spinning thing. Yeah, that's what it's like. A lot of action is happening in the middle of the candle, right? So that's why there's a wick above and a wick below. Again, wick above, wick, wick below. But now we got one, another uh, solid ball candle. One, two, and you only had two and three if you count that one, but two in a row, and then again. Chop, chop, chop. And look at this candle, the body size here. It's hardly anything. And a little growth, a little growth there. Again, a little more growth on the candle. Again, more growth. And then there we go. That's your next bull candle. You've got two bull candles. And so it wasn't suggesting it was going to go up like this. Even if, you, if you're a direct hike and actually candle trader, are there any? Uh, you know, it's hard to play, I guess. That's your signal long. Um, that was your signal to get out or go flat, take profits. So that's not really that great, right? That's not that great. So don't trade how you can ash eat candles, my advice. Um, so let's change it. This is easier to follow, isn't it? Um, so you could have gone long, just another penny. Gave you a chance to get even lower, zero, zero, 0093. And look, zero, 0093, you could have got a play to this upper channel, right? So you could have doubled your money right there. And so I guess people got. I'm taking profits. I took a little profits. I had a contract come out. You know, I sold. Nothing to hurt the price. You know, it's like $1,400 or something. But, well, it was $1,500 and then take away lots of gas. Yeah. Ease into your profits, doesn't it? But um, it was an old school Genesis stake, so I have no complaints. No complaints whatsoever. Anyway, we're coming down. It seems. Uh, what's the low on this candle? Let's get a real candle. That's your low. Um, geez. Hide settings. Let's keep it consistent. Okay. I was trying to bring up this low here. Or is it uh, 0 0.0153? You don't want to take that out. Okay. You do not want to take that out. And so far, looks okay. Looks okay. Mm, weird. Darker red. It's better. Yeah, I'm very picky about my visuals, right? Hmm. Um, yeah, looks fine. So the high was two uh four four. We're down. What did it come down to today? Zero point one six. Let's uh, 
It's a third, right? 33%. That probably is 38%. So... Where do you draw this? My continuous battles with trading views, crosshairs. Ah, uh, they're in my crosshairs, trading view. I wonder if I actually have to send them an email. If they're not watching my struggles, uh, is anybody watching my struggles? Um, okay. Let's move this out of the way. What was it? 244. Right. 24. Little tick up. Come on, big. 4-2. That's close enough. And what was this low? What was this low here? 007. No. 0067. Yeah, that's close. That's good enough. Six one eight. Oh, it's higher than I thought it would be. Yeah, it's higher than I thought it would be. So uh zero one seven five. It'd be nice to close above this right today. And there's no reason they can't. So below that would be the fifty. Uh, so six, six, eight, nine, uh, about one five. Yeah, that'll be your fifty percent retracement. Yeah, even that's fine, right? Because where is that line standing to? to tops, top of the pops for my UK views. It would be nice to come down to this really and test it once bounce twice right that would make beautiful technical and i thought we already did this but apparently it wants to come back again look one two three four it's testing top 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 hammering away so one more test again or two more day, days testing that'd be fine perfectly great perfectly great and then we can uh, continue up because hex will only continue going up. It's just, you know, how it gets there. The shakes, the moves, the lefts and rights. Uh, so some people may draw, try and attempt to draw head and shoulders, right? You could almost say, there's one there. We've already broken. Some people will do that. What would that call for? Two, four, right? Two, four. Uh, it's a big one. Seven. It will take us down to one. <laughs> I don't envisage it, but... So, calling tops in crypto is a fool's errand. You know, until it is the real top, but until it is shorting and you can't short hex that's the thing you can't short hex you can either buy it hold it stake it or exit so how much exit pressure is there on state uh, hex right now that's that's the question isn't it? people ha are ending old stakes and how much is coming out how much are they willing to take a hit on because now you're down approaching 50% from the high. Just imagine if you had a stake end here and you was like, oh man, counting those profits, right? Counting those gains. Are you going to take a 50% haircut? I wouldn't. I got out, at, uh, well, ended a stake and took the profits around here. Something like that. Two, three days ago. So, yeah, I'll do it okay. Yeah, I did okay. And and I bought Link. So what, what what I took out, I bought a Link. Link is Link 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 40. So I made money on my money. That's what I tried to do. Um okay, so what's the up projections? 
Where are we going? You know where I, I think it's going. Three cents. Uh, it doesn't line up with any uh, extension. So that means it goes higher. Three and a half cents. Yeah, that's an extra 20%, almost. Oh, look at this. That deserves a gold star. Five cent, five cents Memorial Day. I keep harping. But when stuff keeps lining up, why shouldn't I harp? Why should I not harp? All right. Gotta blow your own, own trumpet in life, because you are your own salesman, I guess. Your own promoter. Gotta promote yourself, because generally people like to push you down. And what's that? What's not? What's the opposite to promotion? Uh, demotion. <laughs> people, people like to demote you. Yeah. Be the golden rising star in your life. You right? Oh my god. Too much. Some people get turned off by motivational stuff. I get it. Three six one eight seven cents. Oh, eight cents. Yeah, I've I've done this before somewhere else. Uh yeah. I've done it before. But Okay. Mm. Do you like this? Action. When did I draw this? A couple of days ago. We're coming down to random lines. But yeah, it's better to get this out this down draft out of the way now, right? Then wait another six days. Come on down. Tag it. One uh come down here. It's fine. And then let's see what kind of bottom it makes, eh? If it goes that, that's not good. If it just launches, that's good. Great, right? Five cents. Okay, anything else? Let's see how it's doing against Bitcoin. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. A bit of a slow, slow stochastic on it. Does it tell you anything? Yeah, ish. I mean, if this came down here and this kind of still stayed, stayed above this, right? That's divergence and on the four on the daily. Oversold. Got a reading of uh, K and D line, right? I think the K is the red line, twenty two point three, and the red the D line is the dark line, sixteen point nine. Um. Yeah, this in my eyes, because I've seen this indicator quite a lot in my life. That's, that's good. So we can draw a like that, something like that, maybe something like that. Oh no! Mm. So you've got the divergence here, right? Higher low than that, but this is a lower low. Um, so, what kind of bottom is it going to make? I think it's going to be a violent reversal. That's my call. Because already made that call, right? Three, uh, five sets. Yeah, that would be three and a half cents now. I think. I think it will be. Because what, 3.85, that's 4, 12, 24. I think that's like 485. 244, 2485, right? I think so. Quick math. Michael Dapper, are you watching? He's a UK rapper. He came up with a uh, rap song. Quick math. One, two, three. One on one is two. <laughs> All right, my time is up. My time is up. Uh, will I do another chart set tonight? No, because it's Friday and I, I don't want to be staring into any of you this evening. So maybe something different. I'll keep you posted. All right, bye.